and welcome to another edition of The Home. I am Jessica Knox. And I'm Daniel Braverman. And today on the show, we're going to discuss the problem of ethics in news and media. Yes, today we have Demarcus Knight. He is CEO and founder of the app Project Butterfly. How are you doing today? I'm good. Thank you for having me. Thank you. All right, Demarcus. So just tell us a little bit more about Project Butterfly. What exactly is Project Butterfly? Um, Project Butterfly is an app that was created by my company, Butler Incorporated. It basically filters through false news from faulty sources. It's almost like a pop-up blocker, but for news sites that aren't actual news sites, so they're not credible. So can you tell us why it is important to filter out fake news? Our country's values is very rooted in free journalism, free press. Mm -hmm. And that becomes tainted when you have unreliable sources and facts that aren't really facts. And it really misguides people. I believe the website was therumpleskin.org. And the story was, it was so hilarious. The story was Kim Kardashian's ass rules Canada. And it does not rule Canada is what as far I as assume. I know. Okay. As far as I know, that's not the case. And that sort of information, unfortunately, not everyone does research. Not everyone sees, they just go with whatever meme they see that week. They don't actually do research to find the facts of any stories, really. The algorithm, it does all the busy work for them, basically. It filters out all the false news, and they get the real news so that they have the real facts to make their decisions. All you have to do is download it and turn it on. Apparently, there's a pending lawsuit uh, against you uh, saying that you don't pay your employees. Would you like to address that? There are a few lawsuits that are pending right now. You know, a few death threats, you know, a few nasty comments and emails. You know, that's pretty standard fare in this business, unfortunately. I would like to say that when you interview for my positions in my company, you're told what you're going to get paid before you even go to the interview. That is all. But the article said that your employee, one of your own employee, employers said, that you do not pay at all. They don't get nothing. Do you care to expand on that? Unfortunately, those are serious accusations. They are. Mm -hmm. And see, if you had my app, Project Butterfly, that wouldn't be one of the things blocked because that's an actual news story. So you're saying that it's true then? It's legitimate? Not at all, but the lawsuit is legitimate. It actually happened. Mm. All right, so we'll, we'll, we'll go back to that. Uh, for now, why don't you just tell us a little bit more about your personal background in app development and media and journalism? No comment. Okay. You, you want to tell us about your background? Not at all. All right, so I guess that's our show. Um, I'm Daniel. I'm Jessica. Thanks for watching. important to talk about these social media trends Black Beatles in the city be back immediately to confiscate the money give us an A <laughs>